Hi, I am Dr. Aruni Mahaldar. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and IVF at Manipal Hospitals, Whitefield, Bangalore. I'll be a part of Girl Tribe and will be talking to you about fertility concerns and effect of cancer on fertility. Women who conceive late do have certain health risks. First and foremost, it is difficult for them to conceive. When they conceive, they tend to develop diabetes during pregnancy, hypertension during pregnancy. They may also have low birth weight babies or a premature delivery. There's a higher chance of cesarean section in this women. Not only this, as the age increases, there is higher chances of chromosomal abnormalities in the baby. A lot of newer things are coming up in assisted reproductive technology as far as post-cancer treatment is concerned. First and foremost, ovarian tissue cloud preservation wherein we preserve a part of the ovarian tissue which is responsible for the development of the follicles and we can use it at a later stage. The other thing is in vitro maturation where we can culture the immature follicles and keep them for some time for later use. Apart from this, uterine transplantation which is a big thing in the West is also something which can be especially used in cases of uterine cancer. By and large, majority of the assisted reproductive technologies are safe for women who are undergoing cancer therapy. There are certain drugs like estrogen which should not be used when we are trying to prepare the endometrium before an embryo transfer, especially in women who have an estrogen receptor positive cancer. The chances of your fertility being retained after cancer treatment depends mainly on the type of cancer you are having and the stage of cancer you are having. Not only this, it also depends on how early during the cancer treatment you have decided for fertility preservation. There are certain gynecological cancers wherein in the early stages we can go ahead and do fertility sparing surgeries wherein we can preserve at least one ovary and the upper part of the uterus so that once conception and pregnancy has happened we can go ahead and remove the rest of the uh, remnants of the reproductive system and get done with the pregnancy in the meanwhile. Children of cancer survivors who have conceived via ART are usually healthy. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine Ethical Committee have clearly stated there is no higher risk of development of congenital anomalies in these babies and they should not be denied of any reproductive technology because of these concerns. Here at Manipal hospitals, apart from fertility preservation surgeries, we can go ahead with oocyte cryopreservation for young girls who do not have a partner yet, embryo cryopreservation for young married women, as well as sperm cryopreservation for men with cancer.